high Facebook world or high world uh, in combination with Facebook world and um, the interesting thing is that the social media and Facebook seems to be the uh, world for most of us it was for me when Facebook came out and Facebook is such a dying medium and not only a dying medium it just kills people yeah and I have died many Facebook death, uh, deaths and um, 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 it might be something familiar to you how it feels when you die on Facebook so the kind of the rumor thing on social media that can happen can be so devastating and I had no idea that it was happening till yesterday a friend of mine was sending me a message uh, saying there are some serious allegations against you um, uh, where you have been raping somebody else um, uh, out in social media and I guess this is mainly Facebook where this is happening. Um, um, you can read it on a post on um, Susanna Beatrice on her wall. There is, uh, she's talking about um, the allegation um, from a person um, that is accusing me of rape from a situation that is 14 years ago. And I just want to say a few words, and this is a really nice post, and I say thank you to you, Sana, that you are um, really considering the situation and um, want to stop the kind of gossip trial, uh, the way how it's happening. Anyway, there was not one word shared, uh, uh, word shared about who said what, and I'm sitting here and just wondering what's, a, what's going on in the world. So... Um, even that much that uh, she said, uh, you know, th there's a story coming out, I want to talk about that, um, about SVT, the Swedish television, um, a documentary about uh, Tantra, in specific uh, my um, in inclusion or my, my, my story about TNT and Alex Wartmann in 2010, what is 14 years ago. And uh, there is a story with one person where we're talking in detail. I'm talking with that person in detail. And, um, uh, and we have a, a very clear, loving, heartfelt engagement. And that's not the first time we're having this engagement and communication about the situation she's accusing me about. Uh, so we had several calls. We had several... Um, writings back and forth and in 2014 when I remember that right or maybe before I can't really say but I think it was 2014 when we met we start talking about the situation and we are ever since in communication and talking about that and I m made amens and I, I uh, talked about the story so um, I have so, so Sana was asking me taking this um, off SVT because it would damage my reputation even more and it would be kind of um, devastating as well for the dearmoring training because how can be in the dearmoring training somebody who has rape allegations? <sighs> feel my heart is beating fast, I'm so vulnerable and I'm nervous and I'm scared. And, and I'm holding my position, I'm standing in my power and I just want to share how I feel and what's going on in my life. So some or most of you know that I'm a consent facilitator, an empowerment coach and I'm teaching people sexual um, liberation literally. So this is my passion and this is my profession. I do that since 25 years in a way. I've never raped anybody or misused or abused anybody. I just want to make that really clear. If you have any allegation against me or you have anything that you think I'm not in alignment or in truth or authentic with what I'm teaching or what I'm doing, then please have the guts and talk to me. Have a conversation with me. I'm not biting your head off. I'm not a... I'm, I'm, I'm not a... a um, predator. Yeah? And I'm, 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 I'm a man and I'm in my power. Even I'm feeling vulnerable and specifically in this so-called Vogue culture where the, binar uh, the binary of male and female is so um, um, under attack from uh, a new culture that uh, is, is 
and, 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 I, and I saw the other day a quote from Taylor Swan and she said that if you, if, if you don't agree with the Vogue mentality, you are against them and then you're part of the problem. And because I'm not choosing to get off my um, uh, male behavior, being a male, being a male identified and have a specific way of standing in my power, I'm part of the problem. And there was the other day on Tantra No Trauma, a post about me being at the Tantra Festival, seeing my ex-partner, we had a, a fallout a few years back, and the, the accusation from a so-called anonymous person was just so devastating. And, it, it, you know, and all this kind of so-called woke people jumping on the train and trying to have an opinion. So it's just really interesting. So um, what I want to say about that, if we as male and female or a man, women or as, as humans, as people, if we don't do that together, not against each other, then it won't happen. You know, the interesting thing is there's so much shit going on in the world, you know, you have no idea about. You know, the, the, the world is collapsing and falling apart and everybody is trying to keep the little island alive and safe and, and saving their little butt. And, 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 and then what I observe and see that so many people kind of from a victim mentality come together and then there's so much blaming going on in this small world of polarity and non-binary projecting it on each other. And this is so unhealthy. So I just want to tell a, a, a few stories about how I see things and what is happening. So, and um, please bear with me. And if you feel like you just want to post some questions or comments here on that live stream, feel absolutely free. I just make a recording anyway of that so that um, what I'm saying is posted on my YouTube wall and, and as well here on my Facebook wall. So what I want to say to that is I am teaching in a diamoring training. And um, in this diamoring training I'm talking about dynamics of the... And this is a little story, so please bear with me if you want to hear that little story. In this diamoring training, I'm teaching about the polyvega theory. What is a pretty complex dynamic? What is part of my um, my gift, my skills I'm having? I can bring really complex dynamics together and combine them and make them accessible to people. So the polyvega theory is one of my passions. So you might have seen something about that. In the polyvega theory, the first thing that I'm doing in the morning is we come together, this is day three, we feel all okay and good, it's safe, we have done TRE in the morning, what I'm teaching as well, so trauma release exercise. And, and I ask people, so how you feel, are you okay, are you just like, and, and show me your thumb and, and, and people show the thumb because we are on day three, we have talked about consent and different dynamics before we going into touch and connection. And people feel good, feel safe. And I said, okay, so if we're safe, then just let's get undressed and do an orgy. And then just like people think, are you crazy? And what I'm doing then is just like, okay, of course we're not doing an orgy, but I just want to let you know when something is said, that this split of a second when something is said, people react differently based on their history and their story, what they have experienced in their life. And then at this point, I, I explain that. And then at, at that point, I ask people, so just like to this, go back to this very moment. It's just 30 seconds ago when I said that, okay, then, then let's get undressed and um, uh, have an orgy. What happened? What's the flip, the switch in your mind when stuff is being said? And then people say, we don't take you serious, or I don't um, 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 feel safe anymore, or I just want to run, or I shut down, or, or I just freeze, or kind of just like I bite my jaw. Um, uh, uh, I, I actually want to hide, you know, just like there were 40 people in the room and everybody has a different response. And the, these responses, they are natural and they are important to acknowledge. So this is when we talk about the armoring, you know, you are resourceful when you respond or react. You know, this is, this is how you resource yourself in every given situation. So I talk about that. 
And then we're playing a game. It's the predator and prey game. Yeah? So I ask people to stand up and then walk through this room. And in the room I ask them um, just make connection with people or look somewhere else or stand or if you don't want to participate you stand on the outside um, or if you feel during the exercise you don't want to um, be in it you can move out anyway so so you choose you know and this is an important part of empowerment and the armoring you choose so the first thing I'm asking people is you identify yourself with the role of prey you know this you know the mammal that can be eaten the rabbit a deer you know any any you know we are prey as humans as mammals yeah uh, and but we just made it on top of the uh, leather of um, the food chain we are not getting eaten and but we're eating mammals uh, you know um, but just identify yourself with this mammal um, neurological path that you are vulnerable and you are prey and you can be eaten yeah um, in a playful way don't take it too serious in a playful way just just do this little thing and then and, and just feel it in your body because it's there it's in all of us neurologically and then I ask people why you walk through the room pick a person in the room who is a predator or a perpetrator, somebody who can eat you, you are scared of. Pick somebody, a random person or somebody you have really an issue with or a story or something is going on. So pick that person just for a moment. Don't show them, don't, don't, don't point the finger, just like choose a person. Yeah? And then you choose a person in the room who is your protector. Somebody you feel safe with, somebody who will take care of you that you're not getting eaten somebody yeah so everybody has their own identification everybody is choosing their predator or perpetrator and everybody is choosing a protector and then i ask people now it's part of the exercise your job is moving through the room that you bring your protector between you and this chosen predator and perpetrator everybody does that and then you see the room is moving like it's kind of the art of life people move around and it's really funny and people hide behind each other and people running after each other everybody is laughing it's really fun it's really joy and some people don't understand it and they're just like looking around what's going on and some people standing outside because it's too vulnerable and everything has its role it's like life being in life and and, and i say this is it looks like grand central station in in New York at rush hour and you know it's 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 fun and crazy and and um, it's light-hearted in a way and then I ask people to stop and stand there and feel in yourself how does it feel N not nothing to say you just feel and then I ask people now try to make it a little bit more serious yeah so really go into the identification it's dangerous neurologically spoken even though it's never dangerous but you can you can choose to play danger because this is where the liberation of danger is happening so and then people going into that and it becomes a little bit more real so people run more yeah and but what happens in the nervous system the nervous system is amping up and this is this is good the nervous system's sympathetic response when it's not fight flight in a safe way is mobilization we need to be on sympathetic mobilization so people to get out of a situation you need to be able to move and be mobilized so people run and run and run and run and then laughing and 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 a little less but still fun and so it's it's getting a little bit chaotic and i just make sure don't run into people don't uh, uh, touch people what is impossible because people hide and then they touch shoulders and doing all this kind of stuff and uh, stuff is happening and um, I just ask to make sure to have this awareness that you don't just like run against thing or just like damage something. So this is really an important point to keep aware because it's a game. Yeah. 
And then I ask people to stop and really feel into themselves. How does it feel? Really tune in. What's, what's the, you know, the noticing part of the brain that keeps you in liberation and freedom when you are, um, if, you know, if you're not feeling safe and your nervous system is freaking out in any kind of life situation, your noticing part of your brain will save your life because it keeps you capable to track yourself. Yeah. So I ask people then to start to notice how do you feel in there? What do you feel? How do you feel? And then I ask them to open their eyes and how do you feel? And then I said, this is vulnerable, this is scary, my body is shaking, it's vibrating, my heart is beating fast, um, I can't hardly speak, I'm, I'm just like, my body is all over the place and, and, and um, and it's it's really vulnerable. I'm a little bit scared. Uh, you know, it, it it feels like most of the time in my life when I'm amongst people, uh, this is how it feels when I'm um, when I'm when I'm out there. So we all know this place. I know this place. I know this place so well. And I guess you know this place so well. It's it's you know it's a vulnerable place. We are we are vulnerable beings, and it's part of our existence. But it's not all of, of it. And then I ask people to choose another position from that place. And then I ask who in the room has been aware of being a protector to somebody. So somebody who were using you to hide. Somebody who was using you to be protected. Somebody who was using you to feel safe with. And it's just, you know, 40 people in the room, a handful of people is raising their hand, five, six, seven, or something like that. So not many people are aware of that they have been chosen to be used from somebody else, from a, from a prey, from the victim. They are not aware that everyone has been chosen to be used from the prey, from the victim, to be protected, and people don't know that. Everybody has been a protector to some degree. Yeah. Maybe not everyone, but everyone, um, most of people in the room have been a protector. So this prey dynamic, the, 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 what I call the victim dynamic, what is so um, fragile and vulnerable, is as well in a position of power. So you using other people for your protection, they have no idea about that, you're doing that. So people are not aware that they have been chosen as a, as a protector. They're, they are being used. It's not wrong being used. But when you as a protector being misused or abused and you are part of protecting other people without knowing it because they're setting you up doing that, then you're part of your own problem. You're part of other people's problem. And you're feeding that problem. And then I ask people to tune in a little bit deeper. And this is the question, who of you in the room has been aware of that you were a protector? Uh, no, not the protector, the predator, the perpetrator, yeah? the one who is eating people. And the room must have been full of them because the room was full of prey and everybody has chosen somebody. Maybe s several people have chosen the same, but most people got chosen as a predator. And there were two people in the room. Oh, there are the balloons. Thank you for the balloons. I don't know, maybe now my Facebook is frozen. <laughs> this is just fun. Anyway, there, are, there were two people in the room who have been... Sorry, I just need to stop that here. Okay, it doesn't work anymore. Anyway, so there were two people in the room who have been chosen, um, uh, who were aware of that they were chosen as a predator. And then I asked people, isn't that interesting? You know, and 
the point that I wanted to make is uh, that I'm making there in the room and that I want to make for you here right now, if you're here, if you're listening, is that you have no choice. You And please get that in. You have, I and you and everybody else has no choice in your life who is choosing you to be a predator. Nobody. None of us has a choice who is being chosen as a predator. And feel that. You have no choice. You have z zero choice. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter who you are. You can't win when you are amongst people who are choosing you as a predator. That you're a predator. And when you are in your power, when you are in your strength and people projecting all kind of things onto you, you have no choice about that. And when all these victims and all this praise and all this, 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 this poor me mentality, when they're putting their head together and choosing a predator and having their opinion and having their projections and making somebody wrong, it's devastating. So I don't want to make myself here as a victim. I'm standing in my power and I'm standing here in front of my camera on Facebook, streaming live and sharing that story. So I have been chosen as a rapist. So the allegations, the rumors and all these people out there, you know, all this kind of victim mentalities, um, mostly, mostly women who have a story in their life of abuse and misuse, who are afraid and scared about men and their power, who putting their head together and projecting it. Um, it's, it's tough. It's strong. I've, I've, seen, I've seen this happening in Bali when I was living there, the so-called goddess tribe that is afraid of the powerful men, all this kind of women who are... Um, uh, fighting against patriarchy. I am not patriarchy. Men are not patriarchy. I don't know what you're fighting against. I'm the same. I'm. Uh, I'm the same victim of patriarchy. And you know, we have we have in the de armoring training another situation where a really brave man has been standing up and said, just like I raped a woman on a toilet on a party. She was drunk and she didn't say no. And I, 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 I sexually, you know, took advantage of her. And you know, all these women coming up with that story and projecting it on him. And then we, we have this division between men and women all of a sudden in the group. And it was a beautiful process where all the women have now the opportunity to project everything on the man and the man standing there. So, so whoa, this is intense. And then the men have the opportunity to project everything what they had as an abusive dynamic from women and projecting it on the women. And then you have this war of gender going on and this has to stop this has to stop between us and you know that was really powerful in the training that um, part of the exercise is that we forgive each other and then we say thank you and then we just we come to love and yeah we have all done done stuff and we are all part of this story and we are all part of the situation and we forgive each other and we say, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. When I did something that hurt you, I'm sorry about that. This part has happened in this allegation between me and Pravasi. We had this conversation. We had the hug. We had the, we had the conversation about it. But there's so many people out there who are using and misusing their opinion of others or stories that other people tell them. And they have no idea what the story is. So this is what I want to say, and that's part of my, my sharing. I'm shaking, I'm sweaty, I'm scared of being judged from all these people out there who are just trying to find evidence in that what I'm saying, that just, yeah, this is right, Matt is a perpetrator. Um, and um, I'm vulnerable and... Um, You know, the story that has happened in 2010, my 
inclusion in TNT with Alex Wartmann. And I was listening yesterday, th I've, I've tons of recordings. I was listening through some, some audios and it's, 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 it's scary and vulnerable um, how I feel about that. Um, you know, I don't want to excuse anything. Then I'm not proud. And my involvement has helped him three quarters of a year to build TNT. And I have been um, giving my passion and my heart blood in because I loved it. And I was in love with Tantra and the teachings. And um, I, I love what we were capable of creating. Stuff went utterly wrong and then three quarters of a year um, I choose a situation where I got uh, excluded out of a ceremony to back out because I saw how the thing smelled and, 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 and the misuse and the abuse that has happened um, in name of Tantra and love and connection. And I was ever since on my own search of finding my way and part of my involvement in there, I choose to went deeper. I choose to, you know, when I went out of TNT these days in 2010, I went to everybody I felt I had an open bill and talked to them. Yeah, and, and so reparation, kind of regulating situations, repairing um, moments of where I felt like there was something off I wasn't aware of, but it came in my mind later when I learned more about it. So I just did several trainings. I just, you know, I became an ISTA facilitator and there was the same bullshit going on with Baba Des and facilitator in the training, fucking participants. Yeah. So, uh, you know, there, there, there was so much stuff going on. And, you know, on one point in Tantra, I saw all this creepiness. And then in 2015, when um, uh, uh, Me Too hit the Tantra scene, you know, people like... Um, uh, uh, Andrew Barnes and uh, Nityama and Alex Wartman and Agamai uh, uh, Vivekananda and uh, Charles Muir and I don't know who else got called out. Um, that was a time when I created this group Tantra Not Trauma because the story that I have experienced in in the Tantra world, I just needed to tell. And I, I, I used this group Tantra No Trauma to tell my story. If you're interested in my story about sexual situation and what has happened and what was going on, just like go there and search for Matt Schwentek and just my story is there. And then in 2019, I choose to get out of that group. But everything that I have done in my life, and I started in 2014 with consent work and work with trauma and TRE and you know communication about consent when I became a student of Benny Martin for six years, was to really bring awareness, consciousness and depth into this field of sacred sexuality. And to be honest, I could not with a with an open heart um, honestly, freely associate myself with the word Tantra anymore. Uh, I, I felt disgust. I could not do that. And, you know, there's, there, there, there are probably many people have amazing experiences and in, 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 in there are probably really tons of really great facilitator out there. But that was my call and still is my call, finding a neurological language that is based on truth and how we feel that is not based on a kind of religion that is called Tantra or Neo-Tantra to create an honest field of how we can engage and communicate with each other. So I just wrote that book, this, you know, what I you find here on my page, uh, 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 the Orgasmic Blueprint, how to engage with people. You know, everything since 2010, this allegation, what is pointing at, you know, um, I have evolved, I have explored, I, I've discovered, I just, I talk to people, I, you know, we changing, this is 14 years ago, and the person who was still pointing out this rumors, this allegation, um, please have a conversation with me. Don't, don't hide behind a gossip trial of, of goddesses, forgive me my judgments, but I have them, I'm a human, 
but this, this, this kind of gossip trial of hunting down patriarchy is, is not healthy. It's not healthy for me, it's not healthy for you, it's not healthy for, for us as, as humanity, as when we want to evolve in, you know, and where is it going? You know, my partner, I'm a um, lover with, uh, in a very beautiful, loving way, she said, you know, the only currency that we have is heart energy, it's, it's love. And how much of this love, of this heart energy, of this currency do you have? You know, this patriarchy, I don't know even what that is anymore, the patriarchy. You know, I just look at YouTube videos with people who talk about that and feminists who actually um, are getting against the patriarchy and, you know, all this goddess tribe, the, the, the patriarchy has to go down and we have to go into the, back into the matriarchy and, um, uh, you know, this left-wing vogue culture that is fighting so strong for their um, equalness. What I support and supported from the beginning on, um, and I have many trans friends and I have many gay friends, lesbians, and you, you know, um, I, I totally support them. Um, but when you see the kind of politics behind that and where the politics are coming from, you know, the patriarchy needs to fall and the next thing that is on the target are the women, the heterosexual identified women, the feminists. When the, when, when the men are empowered enough, then the women are on the target. Till we all one big mush of powerless people. And the only thing that we have is just like sticking our heads together in form of um, uh, 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 the victim mentality and then finger pointing on another group but then there will not be enough power in the world actually to stop where all this idiocracy is coming from. So if we don't do that together and if we don't open our heart for each other and with each other and are honest and curious and real and if we don't stop this gossip thing, if we don't stop making each other wrong we are all part of this problem. <sighs> okay. So, what I want to say is, um, if you have been listening or if you're listening, I don't know, thank you for um, uh, letting me express that. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. Um, I will try my best to answer them. Some of them I might not answer or um, if you need to project, project. Own your projection, I'm fine with that. If you have a story running, if you have an opinion, if you if you need to make everything that I'm saying wrong or whatever, just go for it. Show yourself, be honest, be real, be authentic, express yourself. I'm not making you wrong. But I will not respond. All right. Um, what I can say is thank you. Love yourself. I love myself. I love all my fucked upness, and um, and let's do that together. That's that's my that's my mission. That's my that's that's my prayer. Let's do that together. Let's do that together. And not on Facebook. Let's come together somehow and stop this gossip bullshit. Stop fighting with each other. Stop projecting. I love you. Love yourself. Okay.